Hello, this is Tanya Kim. First of all, <coughs> apology for my coughing. It's not the Wuhan respiratory disease, but I got 100% pure Canadian influenza and suffering for it about a two week. Well, last week was pretty bad. Fever went up to 37 something Celsius so my brain was literally being cooked or steamed but at least the fever is gone so today I would like to show you how the new S2 looks like in details so this is 12.3 inch S2 device from our snot. Uh, first of all, the car images. Now we made a, a gallery, so you can choose the whatever the image that you'd like. And for the icons, they are customizable. So if you want to assign YouTube, then this will run YouTube and for me i'd like to run the car play here so i would assign auto kit which is the the app for the car play in android auto dongle and what else uh bluetooth music so yeah basically uh s2 was developed in um, two case scenario in mind what i mean by that is for the concert radio car like this one this one does not have the bluetooth music streaming capability in that case uh you're gonna use our bluetooth module that is capable of um streaming music as well but if you don't want to use um aftermarket bluetooth but like if you have 3d mmi plus then you don't want to use the factory bluetooth uh, it's it can be adjusted in the setting so factory settings the passcode is 1314 and then there is a lot of settings so we go to android settings and uh, change the Bluetooth to Audi and then from now on if I choose the Bluetooth music it will show the um, uh, the factory screen so whenever the Bluetooth uh, thing is being asked, asked by on the Android the system will automatically switch into the factory mode so the you can control the Bluetooth and uh, these parts um, are working fine so it says my fuel is 38 liter left um, now I unclipped my uh, airbag so there goes the air warning and that will be translated later and now I put the parking brake on so the parking brake is in gates so for S2, when we are building it, we uh, put our focus on the stability of the things. So in the previous S1 model, it's a um, very cutting edge um, model, but the problem with S1 series were uh, they're kind of unstable. So they work like a um, jewel for first three months and all of a sudden they start to uh, reboot randomly and breaks down and there's um, some bugs that never ever be able to be fixed we tried our best but uh, the uh, source code from MediaTek Taiwanese company is total mess so we just couldn't be able to keep up with the things get rolling smoothly so this device is based on Qualcomm's Snapdragon very stable 
I have to say this is slightly less performance compared to S1 Uni because S1 units are running eight cores of 1.5 gigahertz CPU but this one is like uh, running um, 1.4 gigahertz for four cores and uh, the, the, the other four cores are like uh, running on the one gigahertz but um, at the same time as you probably know that uh, we uh, are um, upgrading the S2 system right now as well so when it comes on uh, Android 9 in May uh, the CPU will be much a lot faster however this one is currently run, running Android 7.1 with 1.4 gigahertz so that's what I mean by uh, slight less performance and as you can see the dashboard is working fine remaining fuel capacity also <coughs> outside temperatures correctly displayed well for the um, United States where they use gallon and <laughs> Uh, Fahrenheit and the uh, mile per hour um, frankly speaking we are not yet ready for it so we need to see uh, how things will be displayed on the American car so we'll adapt in that way um, but the goodness of a uh, new factory is that they have the uh, separate canvas team who are always on the on the company so they can fix uh, these uh, original car related information in no time even they taught myself to how to pick up the proper information using the special diagnostic tools so I'll be collecting some information for them so that we can make the uh, our stuff more enjoyable so for the steering wheel buttons it's absolutely supported so it works fine and now I'm running Google Map what is good of this newly designed S2 system is that it seamlessly <coughs> integrated with the um, the car system so the screen is adaptive to the brightness so you can see now it's almost instantly adjusting the brightness and the goodness of this thing is now uh, it's always uh, displaying in the Google maybe in the, um, the darker background but in the daytime it will switch um, to the brighter mode according to the availability of the, the, the head right what that means is whenever you go into the um, tunnels you know that uh, the automatic headlight will switch into uh, will turn up the headlight automatically so whenever the headlight is turning on automatically then the screen will uh, the Google Map will change to the dark map modes like the OEM uh, navigation navigation so that's the new thing and this one is pretty much stable it's unlike the um, the S1 so, oh for the Audi MMI thing um, now you can see it has proper aspect ratio but sometimes some people want the the full screen so we made it possible we go to the factory settings hardware settings and OEM display area to full screen uh, it will switch into the full screen like this so some people like that some people hate it so we just made it uh, available for you guys to choose um let's review a few things um on the settings um audio so a bunch of the uh, volume controls um the call volume is uh this device will be using the center speaker for the bluetooth 
So that's what they mean by call volume and sound mix ratio is like the how much of the percentage um, of the sound um, I mean when the voice call and navigation uh, guideline voices are differentiated from all other sounds and you can uh, mute the all the other sounds while the voice um, call sound and the navigation sound is active or you can just uh, let them play by all speakers and the sound effects are like the 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 sound tone control and mute tone reverse and yeah things like that so um this one has kind of serious um um eq control so that's what it is and the language for now language it's only support english chinese uh simplified chinese and um the the, 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 the traditional Chinese but uh, as time goes by like the S1 will add uh, language whenever people start to contribute on it and the screen is it's talking about the screen brightness so dark means dark medium means medium and bright is bright and the Bluetooth now you cannot activate the Bluetooth because uh, now I already said that I'm going to use the Audi original Bluetooth but um, I can change it on the system settings and networks um, for the uh, S2 Android 7.1 version Arsnab is not advertising that it has the LTE modem capability well uh, practically speaking it has a LTE modem but that modem is usually outside China well, probably it will work in some regions in the European Union, but still 4G won't be available. So buyer B1 that officially RSNAV is not offering the LTE modem um, uh, capability on the its Android 7.1 device. But Android 9 device with the newer Snapdragon chip will support both, I mean worldwide LTE modem so that's no problem so and then there's a Wi-Fi you can connect to Wi-Fi and then get the system running and voice recognition is currently doing nothing just leave it Google Assistant CarPlay Android Auto Mode uh, we were planning to integrate it with the Google Assistant but that, 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 that that's not that easy but you can manually activate it by installing Google Assistant and Google TTS to the to the system so you can use uh, Google um, assistance but it's not like uh, totally integrated and we'll do it over the time and uh, what else system information is um, showing what the how the system is made so we're planning to uh, support the OT update but it's not yet um, available. USB update means you copy the file, plug it into the USB drive, and then it will update the system. MCU update is something related to the hardware communications, and GPU update is related to the, the display and all the GPU thing. Um, for example, um, if I uh, switch to reverse, uh, well, it will automatically switch to the reverse but as you can see the, there's a, a little bit of latency between the uh, screen switching so that could be fixed by the GPU update but we'll see and this system support um, various type of rear view camera so CVVS means analog camera so I put the very poor video quality camera into my 2010 A4 that's why it's a bit hazy but it's better than Audi factory original and still and we are uh, supplying the uh, best quality one for the rear camera at $55 so you can pick that up and 360 degree surround system means that whenever you choose this and then a few other settings available let's see if you turn left uh, turn on the second uh, turn on the turn signals then the system automatically will switch the 
your 360 view system and the origin camera is kind of bad translation but it means Audi factory camera and price box means uh, the you know the the your original um, parking sensor uh, view when it, when you don't have any factory Audi factory camera so that's the supported mode and let's see further for the factory setting so password is always 1314 and android setting uh do not allow third party apps that does nothing google play support is there but still that does nothing though so for the um retail version these uh, uh, uh these will be gone oh by the way uh speaking of google playing it totally supports google play without any issue um so that's what it is uh, again 1314 confirm and the uh, original display it does nothing so we'll erase it home screen car image setup is well, a bunch of things but uh it's already uh, implemented like this so we won't be um we won't need to keep that item on like that so yeah home screen uh, scroll special effect does nothing debug mode is for the uh, developers uh, this device is currently have two a uh, one USB port for the carplay and everything else but we're trying to increase the number of USB ports but inside in the device there's a hidden USB port for developers so normally it's not accessible for the users but uh, if you want uh, uh, a developer can connect to the, the hidden USB and they can um, test very various things so that's the one thing for developer and the Bluetooth is as I said it can cho you can choose whether you want to use the factory Bluetooth for all the Bluetooth related operation or or, or or you can just use the Android one so I mean for the 3G MMI plus people Audi Bluetooth is just right so I believe you guys will going to use it and climate control type is um, there's few variants of the climate control that for two two two, two zone control and three zone control so it's about that and um, CD player type does nothing so I mean the, the, this software is not yet ready they just rush it um, before they go to the Chinese holiday which is until 3rd of February and all switching method is for the whenever um, the system is um, I mean in order to play any sound it requires the aux to be active or external media uh, sources for the MMIs so sometimes it support um, switching between aux and the radio if necessary but um, for the most of the for most car that function is not working well so I just put it manual and aux function switch is um, whether um, you will let the pass through of aux but I don't know even people would care same car Tata doesn't mind it, it uh, I'm going to remove it and DVR setup is like um, we'll be selling the uh, ADAS um, supported um, USB type dash cam so you can choose USB or you can choose still use the analog video input for the, your um, hidden type um, the dash cam that we used to sell before so that's for that one that's hardware and the car model um, what they mean by Q5 low profile is low profile means um, it's the just concert radio and high profile means um, the all the MMI of between 2010 to 12 and A4L low profile means the B9 cars so 
I mean the good news of this system is there's only two hardware variants uh, one for MMI one one for the concert radio so they are physically distinguished but for the MMI model for 3G MMI models one device support all the 3G MMI variants and you don't need to um, flash this software that software to make it work but you just select the right type of your car here and then it will be working totally fine so that's what it, what it means by car model so that's gonna be more uh, um, easier for people to um, find the right uh, setting for their car and uh, and the car logo setup does nothing so I will be removing that Android settings uh, I think I already went through about it and other settings OEM display area as I showed it's it could be the properly aspect ratio um, kept um, original display like right now or it could be the full screen if you want so and uh, what else uh, navigation sound independent output so it means whether you want to use the center speaker or for the navigation um, voice prompt or you want to use all the um, speakers TW8836 debug mode does nothing for uh, ordinary um, people it's just to activate IIC um, protocol for hardware developing but that does practically means nothing turn signal screen switching is what I told you before whenever you uh, activate turn signal the system will switch into the analog video input such as um, connected to 360 hundred uh, device so the screen will be showing the, 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 the dead zones of your um, vehicles when your car is equipped with the 360 uh, the camera system and climate control type is pretty much self-explanatory parking view button is those the the P button that you can press and then the system will be changing to the parking view mode so currently uh, it's it has been disabled because this car doesn't have the parking view mode key but anyway uh, when we activate this and let's say you just have the um, aftermarket camera it would still work with the parking view button and AUO is it's something about the display um, refinement so you don't have to worry about it I think it's likely that we're gonna um, remove it because it could cause some um, confusion for the user and startup interface is simple um, it's just asking whenever uh, the device comes up what do you want to see Audi original interface or Android and then the system power of time is pretty much self-explanatory so um, I mean it can be a prolonged up to the 30 minutes by the way this device does not support the instant on feature I mean um, it will stay up to 30 minutes consuming your battery but it's not like the, the, the it has no function like the instant on that has been um, shown the S1 hardware version 3 models like um, the, the, the system remember the last status um, of the your uh, app usage or the function it's not supporting that because as you probably know that function caused huge trouble like the the sound goes mute or the the, 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 the there is a trouble with the 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 sound uh, playback so you get a bunch of sound related error message so um, uh, I'm, I was just afraid of it because that was the uh, one of the main issues that I 
decide to discontinue the S1 series because we cannot fix it so I don't want the same mistake again so until we figure out something really works fine with the instant on feature we're not gonna support the instant on uh, so we'll see for that and that's pretty much it so um oh by the way um yes some people ask for the obd2 support so yeah it works so now it's connecting to my obd2 bluetooth thingy and let's see it seems it's getting established there you go all the information looks fine so as you can see real time obd2 torque was totally fine and what else what else um oh by the way uh for the obd2 connection uh you cannot use this bluetooth menu here but you need to use the um, Android Bluetooth step. Previously on the S1, this part, I told people not to touch about it because it's a customized Bluetooth module. So if you activate, activate this place, then things will get messed up. But thanks to Qualcomm and uh, the, 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 our uh, uh, software developer this part works uh works fine in the official way of the android so as you can see my b peak obd2 controller is um paired so i can forget it and i can add it so everything is work as how android supposed to work so no crazy uh um Turn around the way for this S2 series, everything works, everything is designed as it should be under the Android standard protocol. So, that's 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 one thing. And then, basically, uh, we removed most of the bloodware, and the uh, GPS accuracy is quite good, it's very fast. In terms of GPS, um, the, the, the S1 has average accuracy of 10 meters, so sometimes it pops up from time to time. But this one has much better GPS module, so the accuracy is good. I mean, I mean, um, for the GPS antenna, I didn't even install it properly. I just placed it on the somewhere in the dashboard and. Uh, the average signal reception is much better than compared to the S1 so and as you can see the display is gorgeous because it's 1920 by 720 which is uh, HD it's not full HD in order to be full HD qualified it has to be um, the, 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 the not the horizontal but vertical uh, pixel to be at least uh, 1080 but there's no 1080 um, display available at this moment in the automatic automotive use um, regular LCD screens and automatic automotive LCD screens are totally different automotive uh, LCD screens has more wider uh, working temperature and storage storage temperature and the um automat automotive lcds has much more um brightness compared to regular lcd so that's why and but uh, unfortunately for the automatic automotive lcd the resolution is still staying somewhere between uh, less i mean sub hd but uh for the um this one it at least qualifies the HD quality which is 1920 by 720 so it's crisp beautiful display as you can see this the 
RS5 red color is beautiful so this is pretty much it oh uh, as a final uh, thing I'd like to show you by the way the the video it's just play the video app and what else oh um for the Android Auto uh, will be uh, including the head roll had the unit reloaded app because uh, the app developer is cooperating with us the final version is not yet ready but we are going to support the wireless android auto using this app so we are already cooperating with the app developer and for the apple carplay it will be still using the autoplay or auto kit using the carplay dongle so we need the dongle because the dong those dongles has apple chip that uh, decrypt the funky you know encrypted um, thing between your iPhone and the device so yeah that's what it is and what else oh uh, boarding time let's see how long it will take to boot up so if I remember correctly on the factory default setup it takes about less than 30 seconds so now it's start of booting this is Connor booting logo which takes about 10 seconds and this is the Android booting logo I made it fairly simple and yeah it's not that long so it's available like this so I mean I know some people want instant tone but instant tone is dangerous I'm not going to do it and you just need only 30 seconds by the way uh, it's another bug that uh, whenever you restart <laughs> the crying image change to the default so this is what I found uh, recently so I need to talk to our people in China when they come back to the work so I'll fix that so that's pretty much it everything for the S2 and at this time I hope this serves um, well S1 probably uh, personally speaking I'm proud of the S1 device and the rear sun communication technology the factory which made the S1 they did incredible job but 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 we cannot overcome the crazy amazed and complex core of MediaTek's um, platform and in the end um, I myself and the rear sun communication technology were depicted by the craziness of the MediaTek platform so, so still I feel very sorry for the, our S1 enthusiast I wanted to make it more much better but uh, things didn't well didn't went well as I wanted so and I had to make a decision because I knew that we cannot patch up the things um, forever so that's why we just gave up S1 and prepared S2 so that's kind of uh, pretty um, not embarrassing but I have to say um, I'm also um, feeling the gravity that I wouldn't be able to make that S1 device um, as perfect as I hope to and for that I feel very sorry about the S1 owners but I believe that I should have to do what I can do so I cho chose this path making new system 
on new ground and I can guarantee you that S2 will not crash you uh, will not crash so easily every focus went to the stability so I hope you this S2 device make your life uh, with your uh, gorgeous Audi much better thank you for listening this was Daniel Kim